everybody. Hi. <laughs> I am Yvonne Williams with Back to Earth Creations, and in today's video, I'm messing with my camera. There we go. Um, but no, for realsies, in today's video, uh, I'm going to be working on some polymer clay stuff for in my Patreon packages for this month. Um, I'm making some handmade cabochons to send out to y'all. Hey, Quintana, first. <laughs> Cheers to everybody coming in. Hey, Rhea. It's a good cup of coffee. Hey, Buttons. Hey, Tina. Hey, Becky. <laughs> well, thank you. Hey, Manny. Hey, Charlotte. Hey, everybody. <laughs> so, I'm going to get a little situated over here. Hi from the Netherlands. Just found you last week. Right on. Always glad to catch you live. Hi, Vaughn. Do you have a link for where to get your phone arm? Um, I do. I did a video on um, the equipment that I use to do my recording, um, and it just takes you there to Amazon. Uh, after the recording, or after the video today, um, the live stream rather, I will, I'm so glad I got it too, Buttons. You did a fantastic job on it. Thank you so much. Um, after the live stream today, I'll go through and try to post a link if you can't find it. I can't stay. I just wanted to say hi and catch you. Stay warm. Love you and take care. Thanks, Tina. You too. Oh, hey, Pat. Pat says hi, everyone. Brett says, hey, hi. Sam. Happy New Year. All. Oh. Is Sam here? Um, <gasps> Sam! Her, her, her name is a dog. No, it, well, <laughs> that yes. confusion happens quite frequently. <laughs> is Sam here? Sam no. Samantha well. <laughs> okay. No, Sam's not I'm here. Well, Sam Dog says, I'm here. Hey, Emma. Oh, he's a good boy. -o. Before we get started, puppy cuddles. Can y'all see that? He's black as night. <laughs> he's so dark. You can't see him. He blends into the shadows. Three dogs, three cats, a guinea pig, a randy. Three dogs, three cats. It's called. Three dogs. It's called. Three dogs. Two brothers. <laughs> Who's a good five boy? Five chickens, six rabbits, plus babies. <gasps> How many babies have you counted uh, yet? Uh, Five-ish. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're a little mini farm. It is a zoo. Oh, hey, Lukey Dukey. Little Z dog. Little Sam just wants attention. And a trunks. A wild trunks. <laughs> Thanks to you, I was legend this Christmas with my dragon eye gifts. <laughs> right on, Mary. Do it. I cut and dyed my hair. Yeah. <laughs> Trunks forever now. Okay, doggies, back to work. How do you get five-ish, Azimuth? What kind of bunny do you have? Uh, this one that it had the babies is a Rex. Mini Rex? Yeah, a mini Rex, so... Five-ish because it's too cold. Oh, wow. To Holy crap. To uncover them, to count them for sure. Right. I just kind of felt around and felt five little heads. Possibly. Five or more or less. I have a monkey called my husband. <laughs> well, Carrie says, Vaughn, congrats. Other artists are talking about your greatness on their live streams. Well, I don't know if I'd call it that. Maybe talking about my hot mess I got over here, but, um. <laughs> and on wire wrapping Facebook pages. Wow. Well, don't tell me too much about that. My head will get real big and I'll get kind of nervous. But I was going to set up. I'm still so excited. I've been going through playing with my uh, my book that my friend gave me. Stop that, mister. But I'm going to set up my pasta machine over here. I don't know what this lid goes to. Your mess looks better than my mess. Right on. Well, it's because I've got an azimuth cleaning up after me and a randy cleaning up after me. <laughs> How many rasmus does azimuth have? I used to breed rabbits too. Mini rex, mini lops, continental giants, french lops, and mini lion lops. Um, at, right now, azimuth has six rabbits. I don't know. Y'all can check out his channel, actually. and Because uh, he would know way better than I do. <clears throat> All this stuff. I just grow stuff. My face is all itchy. I'm moving on the dogs. Why do you look at me all accusingly all the time? 
Can you do me a favor and move these over to somewhere not on this table? Thank you. Well, I've got that splinter in my foot, so I'm like... Ah, uh, excuses. <laughs> I couldn't, like, it, there's no, uh, short of cutting my foot open and digging it out, which I don't feel like doing, I'll do that before bed. <laughs> but, like... So that it gets deeper. Yeah. Naturally. <laughs> well, this morning I got it, like, letting, letting Luke out. Yeah. And I came to bed, and I was like, that's it. This is how I lose my leg. Yeah. <laughs> like, from this, I'm going to have a gangrenous splinter. So I'm a little melodramatic today. Jesus. Mm, hi, Vaughn and Randy. And who is Az today? I think Azmuth is just Azmuth today. I'm Frodo today. He's Frodo sure. today. <laughs> oh, Frodo. Oh, Frodo. Yeah, you know it's cold when hobbits start putting socks on. Ah, I need to turn your stuff down. Randy. Oh? Yeah, it's on vibrate. Oh. Speaking of which, do you know where my phone is? I do. Can you turn it onto silent? I could. Okay. Because <laughs> I keep getting spam calls from... I'm gonna turn oh, I found the bobbin. Oh, cool. I'm going to turn mine way up because nobody ever calls me anyway. <laughs> Everyone call Asma. <laughs> no one calls, no one texts, no even messages. He's very Facebook. sad and alone. <laughs> Penny says, hey, hey, Penny. You yeah. say, hey, Frodo. <laughs> ah, Nancy says, my reason to have my husband wait on me is that I have a cat on my lap. Well, unfortunately, we now have enough cats that each of us can have a cat in our lap. And so nothing gets done. We're all like, hey, Sam, will you go, yeah, like, <laughs> deposit money at the bank? Um, <laughs> Hobbits with socks. What's happening? Is that me vibrating? I think that's Luke. Really? Yeah, no. Luke's vibrating. I just turned this off. Ah, I don't know what's going on anymore. Death by lap cats, really. The ever offensive roll of toilet paper. Sorry, I'm trying to get my act together oh, so that I can <laughs> just. Here we go. I know how to do this. Oh, don't cry. You're a monster. I'm basically a monster. There we go. Work surface. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Sam and your son, Corey. <laughs> oh, coffee time. That was a lot of work scooching all that stuff over. <laughs> Dumping it to one side. Yep. Shut up. They can't see it. They don't know it's there. <laughs> she dumped it to one side. I did. <laughs> Is that, did you hear? That's Lauren, yeah. Can you make it not vibrate? I don't know how. I you you slide the thing down? I did. No. Not from there. Your phone's stupid. It is pretty stupid. It's the worst. It's the best worst phone in the whole world. He's just hitting buttons. Can I see it? No. Okay. So now from the top, you just slide it down in a little angry microphone. Does it say mute now? Mm -hmm. Or not microphone, bullhorn. Speaker. Okay. What are we making today? Uh, Quintana no says, do you have a stream? No sense. Um, <laughs> our streaming schedule, I typically stream on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, uh, around two, I kind of woke up like 30 minutes ago. So, uh, we're off to a late start today, but today I'm going to be making polymer clay canes and cabochons and stuff for our patrons. I send out the, uh, craft crates every month. I thought you were having enough, uh... No, of these ones. No, of the green ones, I only have a couple. And I try to get quite a few, um, cabs. I try to give quite a few calves uh, in the packages, so. Oh, is she at the aquarium? I guess. Uh, that is kind of <laughs> hey, cupcakes. Think, or do I get one? Get one what? Yeah, yeah, clay. Okay, right now my work surface is my bed. The bunny's in his cage right nowadays. Right on. And now we have the wonderful background noise of the heater. It only makes sense that as soon as the dogs stop wrestling, the heater comes on. Well, naturally. Yeah. They're like, we have to wrestle to stay warm. 
Hey, Sam Dog. Do I hear dancing doggy feet? You sure do. And Jim, that's what I was going for with the green was to try to do uh, try to do malachite. Hey, Carol, how's it going? I subbed Asmuth and Randy and Lauren. Oh, thanks, Charlene. They're they're good people. I like them. I like the background noise, right? Oh. Thanks, Charlene. We have to wait till Vaughn stops talking to reply. No, just talk over me. I never stop talking. They never hear us. Hey, boys. Chill out. That's fair. Hey, Randy. Yo. Do you know where my little crank candle is? Is it just a pile you pushed over? <laughs> yes, actually. Okay, thank you. No. Um, <laughs> hey, patients. That is what I'm here for. It is live. <laughs> Sorry, I only see like a couple, like three, maybe three and a half comments at any given time. So whenever y'all are commenting pretty frequently, sometimes it's really easy to miss a comment. Watched Asmus video this morning. I would have been scared. What, of the possum? I have not watched Asmus video yet this morning. He didn't tell me that he had posted a video. Um, check your feed. So what was this of the possum? Yo. Spoilers. Spoilers? Are we just gonna have to go watch it? Yeah. That's fair. Is it about Possum Man? Uh-huh. Awesome Possum Man? Okay. Awesome. Did have <laughs> Jim says, Randy, your hair is getting long. I know. He's gonna grow it out and we're gonna spike it up like a Super Saiyan. I hit the notification button, but I was super grumpy. I woke up at like 9.30 this morning after going to bed at like 3 or 4 in the morning. No, it was unreasonable. Um, and I was super grumpy, and I hit, like, clear all, and then went back to bed. How did you get into crafting? I would absolutely love to start, but I don't know where I should start. My first bits of craftiness that I started exploring um, were out of necessity. I have metal allergies. And so whenever Randy and I started dating almost 13 years ago, um, he, would, he was buying me, like, earrings and stuff, but I couldn't wear them. Because prior to that, I just never wore jewelry because it would always, like, turn me green or I'd swell up. Like, my skin will peel like I have a chemical burn if I wear, like, necklaces with nickel in them. Um, hey, dogs. You're stressing me out, guys. Lay down and take a nap or something. Um, <laughs> it could be if you wanted to let them out, Randy. Because my foot's broke. I can. I'm just making notes. I need my hair. Well, thank you guys for enabling me to be lazy. Come on, boys. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, but yeah, I just started out swapping out the earrings and stuff. Um, <laughs> bye, Rhonda. And uh, and then, like, he and I both really liked rocks, so. They can go lose their shit outside. Yeah. Okay. Just take all their shit and lose it. I'm gonna sneeze again. My oh. eyes are burning. Do it. You got a backpack? And put it in a back pretty gold backpack. That's what Randy was saying to me this morning. Yeah. About getting ready to get my stuff together for a live stream. He was like, just get it all together. Put it. Rick and Morty reference. Now I remember. Backpack, so it's all together. Oh my gosh. Um, Take it to a shit store and sell it. I have a nickel allergy too. I usually just paint the earrings with clear nail polish and that does the trick. My skin eats through it and so it's like. Yeah, allergies in full effect. It's super like dry in the house. How much? How do you know how much to charge for time spent on a piece? I don't. I really, I'm not good at pricing them. Um, <laughs> how much wood could a woodchuck chuck? No, Randy. <laughs> but um, it's more of it is I kind of tree fitty. Tree fitty. Tree fitty. Yeah. I gotta focus. <laughs> How is the cosplay coming along? Pretty nicely. Um, but no, to go back to um, how to price stuff, it's I found a pretty good way of like typically pendants sell best in between a ten and twenty five dollar price point. Uh, that's whenever we'll make very frequent sales of them. And again, keep in mind this is at anime conventions, so we keep our price point pretty low. Um, <clears throat> and then, seriously, <coughs> Is that 
hey, the dogs are gone, let me make noise. And then whenever, like, I'm making original art pieces, I'll charge more according to what I feel like it would work. I don't know, just experiment. Uh, don't undersell yourself, but at the same time, if I charged, you know, the full price for some of my pieces, that would limit my client base really, like, super limited. Um, because not everybody could be like, oh, I'll just pay $500 for a necklace that's not even made out of like precious metals or diamonds or something <laughs> like so I don't know um what are these other questions hey Kimberly hi Yvonne how did you guys come up with your business name I'm currently renaming my business and I'm sitting here staring at paper just hoping that a perfect name will hit me um well the way we came up with ours is we wanted to leave it as base I can't so hardly hear you this is what I'm saying it's just Okay, yeah, go for it. Okay. <laughs> you really can't hear me anyway, so... Right on, but I can hear you and it distracts me because I'm trying to listen to you. Oh, sure, sure. Um, we, like Randy was saying, we wanted something um, as vague as possible that was oh, kind of rolled off the tongue a little bit. Um, and also, like, I don't know, it's with, with Back to Earth Creations, it represented that, you know, a lot of our designs are very nature inspired um, you know just from like the elven and fey aesthetic um, and then also uh, cr the creations term was very much an umbrella term that I could make soap if I wanted to I could make candles I could make costumes I could do artwork I could do you know anything so it's like uh, creations studios Emporium um, <coughs> Those are different, you know, they're terms that imply, you know, creations implies like the crafty, the crafty element and stuff. Um, but also that, you know. Because we wanted to keep it more organic. Yeah. Did you tell them that? That inspired by nature. Okay. Bye, Kristen. Okay, so now, uh, my name, <laughs> my daughter and I run handcrafted magic. She came up with it due to our religion. Right on. And that's, I mean, if there are elements that are very pre prevalent and present in all of the different things that you're doing, put that into the name. Uh, at the time, we lived, uh, we've always lived in pretty small conservative towns where it's like they'd see something with a star on it and freak out. And so we're like... Uh, you know, um, we had to keep it pretty, you know, no affiliation because it's, we carry everything from Celtic crosses to like, you know, uh, like pan faces and like different, you know, uh, symbolism from the pagan mythologies and different things. So it's like, we carry all sorts of stuff because I like making all sorts of stuff. And so it's, we don't cater to just one specific, um, demographic. So you can also just look outside and see that there's you're surrounded by trees, like I did. <laughs> Hidden thicket. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Buttons and rubbish says, I made mine buttons and rubbish because of all the things I do. Art and jewelry just put, art by jewelry just wouldn't cut it. I named my business when I started smithing two years ago. And I feel like my business has matured since then, so I'm trying to mature with my work right on. And that's something that, honestly, Randy and I have been running our business for 10 years now. And just last year, which is so long ago, um, we finally designed a logo. <laughs> and that's another really good tip. Um, Linda says, I started by looking for available URLs. But you do want to give it a Google and make sure that there aren't like 20 other companies with that same name. So mine is Desert Dragon Works because I live in the desert and started out making dragon themed jewelry. Right on. And I love the, the whole dragon look of it, too, because dragons collect their hordes of jewels and gems and whatnot, so it's like, you can totally, um, like, I don't know, that could be pretty encompassing as well, because it implies just things of value, too. Um, Jacqueline says, what's the weather like by you guys? It's very cold and windy and snowing here. I don't think it's snowing. Um, it's pretty sunny outside, but it is very cold. Um, that's why the heater's working, like, nonstop. Oh, is it? It's not as windy? I think. That's nice. I haven't been outside <laughs> because it's winter. That. Hey, Dante. 
Okay, so got my pasta machine set up over here. Tuck that up there. And I'll be able to get this turned around so that we can start working on the polymer clay. Hey, Stuffies. Happy New Year to you, too. But yeah, the, uh, the cosplay is coming along really nicely, actually. I'll show that to you guys uh, later. No, not yet. How do I turn this around? Okay, there it goes. Uh, that's still just for my patrons to see. Okay. So I am going to be doing, hopefully, a separate tutorial on how to get the, this extruded cane effect. Ooh, well, thank you, Jamie. But yeah, you can kind of see. And these are little pieces that were left over. But these are all the different colors and blends of colors that I used to make the extruded cane. And that's the scrap, whenever it's all rolled together, really does look a lot like malachite. Ooh, goodness. 37 degrees in Boise, Idaho. Hey, Kaz, how's it going? Frodo looks like he's riding to there and back again, only missing his pipe, right? Quintana says, how much would the pasta machine cost? Um, they have them for as low as $20. I think this one that I have was 40 before using a, like, a coupon at, like, Hobby Lobby or Michael's. Yeah. Can I get the camera to focus, maybe? No, um, yeah, I'm designing it. Yeah, Frodo's not right into there and back again. He's designing a costume. And the camera just doesn't want to focus. Okay, there it goes. Um, but yeah, you can see this is some of the scrap. Uh, we're making cabochons and beads for our patrons on Patreon for our craft crates. And then this is just an old microwave plate that I set everything on to bake it. Because it's a small miracle, but it actually fits into the uh, toaster oven. Okay. Um, I do believe he did make the cloak that he's wearing. You think it wraps around the back? I don't know. <coughs> but yeah, to do the extrusions, I used this tool, which is an extruder. Um... And I really like the crank handle because it makes it much more, um, I don't know, just very, uh, it's not as hard as on, on your hands. I had one that had just a toggle that you turn, and that was really hard. It's just basically like this button underneath. Do you think you have this black one on shoulder one? Okay. Um, Nicole says, times are hard, names are hard. You want a name that represents you and that all that you make. I wanted a unique name that didn't have jewelry or costumes that might dedicate my shop's product. Right on. Oh, thanks, Charlene. She says, you guys are super talented. So I've withdrawn the plunger, and then you can take off the cap, and you can see there's a little bit of scrap clay left in there. I'm just going to leave it because I'm still working on the same color scheme. And this one's just the round. Nightbot is, um... Like, I don't know, a thing that uh, we've typed things into. <laughs> I don't know. It's not a person. It's just an automatic, like a link sharer kind of. Now, these are older, and I usually prefer to not stack pieces together because they'll start to join to each other. And then I'm just alternating different colors, and they're all super stuck together. Sorry, I don't mean to talk over you guys. No, we're just talking to you, Tony. Okay. I was just trying to figure out this, how this freaking cloak works. Oh. Did you figure it out? No. Oh, no. Really kind of. <laughs> bit of an idea. But... It's a bit of an idea of how right. it works. Penny says, everything about me is about nature, and I also don't want to limit what my business name would imply, so I can't find, find a name I like either. Hmm. 
it's it's hard and I honestly I don't envy you guys who are coming up with business names because that was something that uh you know Randy and I conferred about quite a bit so yeah sometimes whenever it just does that I'm just scrapping it off to the side I'm not gonna spend all of my time and energy trying to split old clay apart <laughs> but I'm just stacking kind of alternate light and dark colors and I had much more variety whenever I was doing these guys um, that looks like a wood hollow extruder. Modified one of mine with a caulking gun. Huh. That's pretty cool. And to make these little blanks, I actually just come through with one of these clay cutters and, oops, boom, little, and they work so much better when they're fresh. Um, hey crafty. Ooh, the Mad Tatter or Tatterific. Mad Tatter sounds pretty awesome. Thanks for all talking about it, though, because it's making me think more. Yeah, brainstorming for sure. Okay, so now we've made this little plug. And I'm just going to roll and condense it down because I need to, uh, to get it to fit inside the little extruder. We go and so now just pressing it down and in like that <coughs> excuse me and then put the cap cap on why would you choose gnome crafting Ooh. okay so now, from here, we'll take this, and I'm just cranking the end, and as it builds up pressure, it starts to extrude out the end. And I don't like to leave clay in my extruder, so I go ahead and do the whole thing. There we are. And then you can just break it off. And it's going to be very, very warm and soft right now. So I'm actually just going to lay it onto my work surface. I love working on this marble because it makes it very cool. So my clay cools off quickly. Like it's very cold to the touch, even in the summer and stuff. Okay. And so from there, by pushing all the way to the end, there's not a whole bunch of clay that might work harden or, you know, get crumbly and stuff. Sarah says, I've been toying with opening a shop with Etsy. I already have a full-time job, but recently I've fallen down into the crafting rabbit hole. <laughs> Thanks, Yvonne. <laughs> right on, Sarah. Uh, Jessica says, um, I have been wondering how you started up on YouTube. I've been tossing around the idea of creating silversmithing tutorials slash live streams, but not sure where to start. Jessica, the best advice that I can give is to just do it. Um, I record everything on my cell phone. Um, I edit with, I used to use Windows Live Movie Maker, which came free on my computer. Um, but now I use uh, Wondershare, or it, they've changed their name since I purchased mine, uh, to Filmora. Crafty says, just got here, what are you making? Uh, making little canes to make cabochons out of. There's a free program that I use have used for many years called uh, video pad video editor it's also okay pretty good except for it's a pain in the butt with the processing times right well the windows live uh movie maker was that way too mm -hmm. so this it's is be way better than windows live right on way better and what was it called video pad video pad video editor okay it's check like that out y'all nhc or nch or something like that okay but uh but yeah it's i mean it because i don't don't expect too much. <laughs> like, um, I, I sat on my channel for years. Like, I posted my first video back in, like, 2012. So, um, you know, it's, a. Uh, but what I mean by that is by not, don't expect too much is my, I've grown a lot since my first tutorials. Um, like, figuring out what camera angles work for me, kind of hitting my own stride with what I'm comfortable with. Um, so don't expect your first video to be, like, an Oscar-nominated uh, YouTube, you know, viral sensation. Um, if that happens, that's awesome. 
Uh, but if it doesn't happen, don't get discouraged. Um, if you're making a business out of posting on YouTube, uh, or, you know, just anything like that, the, you're putting out thimbles into a rainstorm. The more videos you put out, the more likely people are to find your videos and to watch them and enjoy them. Uh, and so just kind of take it a little bit at a time and you'll get there. You'll do great. Made a chainmail bandana for my dog. <laughs> right on. Hey, Baker, we're making some little cabochons. I actually have some examples here of what we're making. This is the tray that I spray the pim into. But, uh, because I wanted to give folks some stuff that they could follow along with my How to write Wire Wrap a Donut. Um, so I'm making y'all some donuts. <laughs> But this is how the cane kind of stretches out, which I think looks really cool. And it comes to life so much after uh, sanding and polishing. And then this is, you can see the varying degrees of scrap, how the pattern kind of simplifies out. But right now I'm just making more extrusions. And I'm going to be using all of this extra bits of clay that are laying around to roll into the background color. <clears throat> okay. Bond, those look so close to what I was looking at last night around the time you're answering people over at Fire Mountain. Right on. Coloring the teases. I should go to sleep, but this is awesome. <laughs> sleep is good too. We will be here when you get back. <laughs> well, at least the video will be. At least the video will be, yeah. <clears throat> And I like to do a fold and roll to get, like, a really cool uh, marbling effect. <laughs> it so says the woman that stays up seriously late. Yeah, but I sleep in until, like, 1.30 in the afternoon, too. Ren says, oh, my God, I finally made a live feed. First ever. Everything's so beautiful. Thank you, Ren. <laughs> but, yeah, just that marbling, just bringing the different greens together can look so much like malachite. So yeah, even more marbling. And by doing an inconsistent fold, not worrying so much about bringing it completely end to end, um, you can give yourself some really fun little variations. So I'm going to pass this through the pasta machine. So let me... Boop. There we go. So this is my pasta machine setup. I just have it clamped to my table. I'm feeding it through on the thickest setting. <laughs> And I'm kind of smushing that log we had made out kind of flattish. Hey, Piper, hugs back to you. And I'm putting it in long ways. Oops. And just feeding it through. So now you can see it almost does like an agate banding. I kind of wish that line weren't so white. I need more. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Do you buy stuff at Springfield Leather? Been in there once, but you say you go to Tandy. I go to Springfield Leather for the stuff that they don't have at Tandy, but I really like the staff um, at the Tandy Leather in Springfield, um, and uh, I, I teach there too, so it's like, that's why I go to that Tandy Leather, but Springfield Leather in, in Springfield, Missouri is fantastic. Can you overwork it to the point where it blends completely into one color, losing the marble effect? You can, Bernie. That is how I got this color. <laughs> so it's um but you can I don't know it's it's really fun in these first beginning stages so this is it put through on the thickness one on the thickness two it starts drawing it out even more and this is it on the back side it got a little bit of white that was left in the machine <laughs> Charlene asks, where do you, I love that marbling. Vaughn, where do you get your tie-dye tops? I get them from a company called Unleash the Goddess. Do you have any classes coming up? I would love to attend one. Just found your channel and binge watching. So excited to try new things. I don't have any classes planned. Um, we're going to be doing some traveling to go see family uh, this, this month. So it's, um, I don't know, we just, we needed to stay home and kind of get our house in order. So we haven't been booking classes or anything but I'll be sure to let you guys know 
Shannon says, Hi Yvonne, I've been watching your channel for a while now. Can't remember how I found you, but I'm glad I did. You're very inspiring. Thank you for spending time in teaching. Sorry for the long text. You're fine. I'm, thank you so much, Shannon. It really means a lot to me that y'all enjoy my videos so much and that you do come in here and hang out with me. Um, Anastasia says, are you going to travel through all this weather? Um, yes. yeah, <laughs> that's typically why we don't do a whole lot of traveling, um, in January is because just because it might not be bad here, four hours from here, it might be a complete and total nightmare. And we really, it, it's dangerous to be out on the road. Randy is a very good driver. Do I asthma? Ah, um, but and I trust, I trust him with my life. That's why he does all of our driving. I do not trust other drivers. Other people on the road, I'm like, you're putting makeup on, texting, and drinking coffee, and, and you know, who knows what else. And smoking. Uh, and smoking. It's like you're doing everything but driving right now. I don't trust you a bit. <laughs> I just got in from walking the dogs. Negative 30 degrees Celsius. Yeah. No, thank you. <laughs> I wouldn't be going for a walk. Yeah. Right? I did the same thing when I found her over Thanksgiving break. Your videos are so cozy and inspiring. Thank you so much for doing what you do and being who you are. Looking forward to chain mail vids especially. Right on. <laughs> um, we haven't had... I'm trying to do chain mail Mondays. But then throwing it in with the tidbit tutorials, I don't really know. I don't know. I don't know if I'll be able to stick to just doing uh, one type of video each specific day of the week. Because my videos are influenced so much by what I'm doing you know, in the studio. Okay, so that was, this is it on the second setting. It really looks like a banded malachite. So I've put it up to my third setting, feeding it through in the same direction. And so now you can see even more those really nice bands. And so this is a nice way to get um, that banded effect, whereas this does a lot more of the concentric ring effect. <laughs> so I think we're going to use this one a bit and it's got a little air bubble in it whenever I get little air bubbles like that I just come through with my clay my little clay knife it is a render error. and just slice it oh really yeah, yeah. Ah. okay <laughs> so I'm going to flip this back around that's super weird one. Bye, Dante. Thanks for popping in. It has to be, or, or at least it's rendered over a real one. Okay, so now I'm taking our scrap fabric or uh, clay and just rolling it together. Excuse me. Sorry, I don't mean to sneeze in y'all's ear. Just fold it and roll it. It no longer has one. Hmm. So there's where it comes together. Here's the first claw. There's no looking going over the top of that one. And also, it looks fake. Like it just doesn't look like it's... There we go. So this one's getting a really nice light and dark contrast. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. Exactly he moved. He's tilted this way. He moved this way. It's still the exact same reflection. Same thing. Okay. Yeah. Still moved. <laughs> it's still the same model. Okay. So now I'm going to take this like if I took those and just spread off, it out. I could probably overlay them. That one looks a little bit different. So that has some pretty cool banding effects. Hey, Shelly, we are making some cabochons for January's craft crates. So you can see this is how some of them are coming out. They haven't been varnished yet. So I don't know if he had a pin and it just wasn't bright enough against his clothes. There you go. Or it just doesn't look like it belongs. So now I'm going to flip this around again. I don't see how they could see that one. Put it through the pasta machine again. I don't see how they could look. <laughs> well, thank Mel's. So, and then all the so putting it back to my thickest setting. It's ridiculous. Feeding it through. Ooh. That really, really brings it to life. Now you can see I have a little air bubble right here. Or no, yeah, the way the light difference is on it. 
Um, question, what do you buff them with after sanding? I use just a piece of um, blue jean. But yeah, I'm just cutting it with my little craft knife. And then I kind of rub it back down, but that way the air can escape. <sighs> hey, Randy. Mm -hmm. This this person's asking, can you flash a nipple or two? Do you want to show everybody your nipples? No. <laughs> okay. But no, sorry, Daryl. <laughs> Block. Why? <laughs> I didn't know maybe they were trying to give him, like, an age. Yeah. Thing, but he's too low level. For that, that. So this side's I mean, super pretty. Like level and yeah. this side's super pretty. I can't decide. Right. Azmuth is wearing a we're cape. It's pretty cold that. in the house. And he's so just a skinny nipples. fellow. So, like, he's cold all yeah. the time. Like, Randy and I are wearing, like, regular clothes. <laughs> Randy <laughs> Nips cost super chat months. money. That's fair. <laughs> I don't know how much we'd have to pay to get Randy to show his nips on. Uh, too much. You'd have to too, too much? much. I'm going to set a price. We might get, mm -hmm. I, like, is it cumulative or do, per, do you want that per view? I don't know. No, I like looking don't. at your nipples. But <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways. Um, <laughs> Sarah says he needs some meat on them bones. I've been trying to feed Asmuth. What? Me? Yeah, because they're like, is he wearing a cloak? And I'm like, yeah, he's just a cold little feller. <laughs> so... They're like, I feed them like three times a day. <laughs> the bidding will start at one dollar. No, I'm not gonna make Randy show his nipples. That's subjectification, and like, I don't know. I'm pretty sure I can get in trouble for like employee extortion or something. That took a left turn fast, right, Mikio? <laughs> Extort your boyfriend. I'm just asking. <laughs> I'm just asking for a friend how much money would it cost to see Randy's nipples. Oh <laughs> Demonetize. They've been demonetizing every every day. I have to go back through and remonetize my hey, videos. Randy, show your nipple gas. Gas. <laughs> 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 um, <laughs> Lindy says, it's official. I just became a patron. I'm so excited. Well, congratulations. She's like, how much for the patron? Randy's Super nipples nipple. for the win. <laughs> Yeah, but how much for the patrons? How much for the patrons to see? That's behind the scene footage. <clears throat> so, oh, I don't even and that's the problem with this, you guys. And I really will I really will um call this a problem is that I can't decide which side or part or anything to use cuz it's all so pretty. Oh, that's what you're talking about. Okay. Yeah, so I'm actually going to take this because I want to expand upon this some more and I want to fold it. I hate to waste that clay. Um <laughs> But that's just what's happening. So I folded it in half and I'm going to feed it back through on the thickest setting. <clears throat> so you can see that really wild kind of distortion and layering. So cool. Okay, so we'll use that one too. Oh boy. Nicole says, I pity anyone walking into this conversation right now. It's like, I missed something. I really feel like I missed something. <laughs> so I'm just going to be cranking. Piper says, looking forward to my first craft package. Right on. I, I really like sending them out. We do samples of different ring sizes and wire thicknesses and all sorts of stuff. Oh, no. So that's the only thing I don't like about this one is sometimes it'll come unthreaded from the, uh, like the threading is stripped on it, on this part. There we go. So it's, I have to like take it apart and then come back in and try to get this crap back together. <clears throat> Need a flathead screwdriver maybe? Or a cuticle pusher. But yeah, I don't know why that happens, but it does, but it do. Okay. So getting that put back together. <gasps> Thank you, Buttons. I'll even raise it to $2. They're bidding to see your nipples, Randy. No. <laughs> Will you put the fake boobs back on? No. No? Them's for you only. Aw. Now you're just teasing them. I know, right? No, I'm not. I'm trying to figure out what I can sell to these people. <laughs> the Ferengi in me. <laughs> That's be nice to Randy, though. But thank you so much, Buttons. And we're not. I'm not going to make Randy show his nipples. That's entirely on him. 
I was trying to soften some clay and it won't in this cold. Um, no pasta machine yet. Um, kind of uh, sitting on it, like in the package or wrapped in some plastic wrap, sitting on it can really help. Um, and, uh, just to get it, like, kind of heated up, I put it under one of my boobs, um, so, like, I'll take just a brick of clay and pop one under each boob. <laughs> Hashtag, um, optimizing gravity and time's effect. Have you tried Sculpey Souffle? I have. Um, I had it in my bra all night and it was still hard and crumbly. At that point, I would recommend clay softener. You can tell by how aged this bottle is. Oh, thank you, Jim. <laughs> Y'all are too good to me. Thank you so much, you guys. But uh, this clay softener can... That was for you. I'm just saying, it could be for me. <laughs> it could be, that's true. <laughs> um, the clay softener, it lasts a long time, but just a drop or two can turn a brick from uh, clumsily into... Um, <clears throat> into something that you can work with. I have a feeling this blanket pin is non-functional. Oh, really? It has tiny little squares in it. Right. Um, Lisa says, I came in on the wrong spot of the conversation, right? Spooty Lady says, so glad to catch you live finally. I've been merely watching a lot of your videos and trying out some of your projects. Right on. Well, thanks for watching. I'm glad. I hope that they're helpful to you. So I'm smushing this all together. I'm going to extrude another piece and then um, <clears throat> and then we'll get to making more cabs. <laughs> Tell Az I've yet to see him lab coat clad. Next time. Next time. <laughs> then you can always go over and check out Azmuth on his channel too, though I don't think he's been in his lab coat on any of his videos either. Okay, got it rolled out. I don't tend Putting to appear in person in my videos. That's fair. I don't, I don't like being on camera. <laughs> You're always behind the camera. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hashtag crafter problems for getting to remove the clay from your undergarments, right? <laughs> How did you guys meet Asmuth? Uh, which convention was it? Was it Anime St. Louis? It was probably Anime St. Louis. Uh, like I don't know, six or Nazi seven Con? years ago. Huh? Did you ever go to NatsuCon? Yeah. We might have seen him pretty consistently at some of the shows. It was at Natsucon. I didn't go to Natsucon when it was at the... Uh, Collinsville? Uh, yeah, in Collinsville. <laughs> at the Gateway Center. Right on. It but was almost certainly... We I kept know. seeing Azmuth at a couple of different conventions. And then what's more is Azmuth has a doppelganger. Who, Azmuth in makeup, looks just like this person out of their makeup. Like, if that makes sense. Like, because the way that they do their contouring and stuff. They looked enough like each other that I just started talking to this other person. Thinking that they were Azmuth. And they were like, wow, Vaughn's really friendly. <laughs> um, so now I got two friends for the mental price of one. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, thank you, Becky, so much. <laughs> That's a $5 super chat pledge from Becky. Oh, okay. That's super cool. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so I talked, and then also what makes it more complicated is we would always see Azmuth in his cosplays, and then it's, we would see this person out of their cosplays. Oh, thank you, Karen. <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> but, um, and then, yeah, we just started hanging out more, and we started, like, sharing rooms together when we would go to conventions. Right. Sculpey Souffle. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of very firm, but super lightweight. Um, I used it with some of my push molds and, um, it worked out really well, but it also has a tendency to burn faster than my regular clay. I wanted to tell you that I used a round paint palette thing to hold my beads. It has multiple little divots to hold different beads. Right on. That's a really good idea, Carrie. This is weird. Watching you and listening to Dolly Parton. <laughs> Dolly Parton's awesome. She's super cool. Like that hair, though. Okay, flipping this around. Bringing it back down. Oh. Dolly Parton and all I could think of was a full list of Leanne Rhymes songs. Right? <laughs> so now that this has had an opportunity to cool, this first one, you can see the difference. See how easily this one is bending? And then this one's much more stiff. 
So I'm actually just going to slice off one of the ends. And so now you can see, and it'll be quite plain for the first little bit. But let's cut an inch in, and you can see it's starting to have those concentric rings. Huddling the heater. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't think I have a twin. If you guys see one, please holler at me. Right on. But yeah, and so you can see the different, it just makes these little bullseye consecutive uh, rings. And so in the scrap, I like to take and just roll into a bead that we will drill after it's been baked. Just got some tools for sculpting. What was in the polymer clay book you showed in one of your previous videos? Oh, um, that was, uh, oh, let me go dig it out and I'll show you guys. That one came out really dark and nice. I like the one little eye in it. <clears throat> so give me just a sec and I'll be right back. This is the book that I recommend to you guys on a <clears throat> on polymer clay. <clears throat> I'm really glad Randy helped me pick this one out years ago, and uh, he like it's better than basically every other book I found on the market. They they might have prettier projects or things that are more your style, but technique wise, this covers everything. It has a nice gallery of designs in the back and talking about which techniques they use to make those different things. They do, they talk about design elements, how to attach findings, um, doing synthetic like f uh, fake stones. And it's just, it's really nice to have an at, you know, at, at your fingertips reference tool. So I super duper recommend this one. <clears throat> I, I love the Mica Shift. Okay. So now I'm going to take some of these guys. Yeah, for those of you who can't afford books, check out your library. <clears throat> and so, the way I got these to be reduced down is I stacked a bunch of these uh, thicker, you know, the extruded size together, and then smooshed them down. But I want some that are different sizes, so. Most bad, I'm making chili for supper. I chopped bell jalapeno and pablano peppers, and so it's a really cool pattern, three greens, which I could repeat in clay. <laughs> right on. I made my friends by smiling a lot. And, oh. Yeah, it's, I, I get all my stuff on Amazon because it's so much more affordable. If you have a Kindle Unlimited there, if you could do something there too. Right on. Are you going to make any more fairy houses? I will be. I actually have a fairy house hanging out here over by me that I'm going to do a mermaid, um, like beach themed fairy house. I just haven't had the opportunity yet. But I'll probably be giving away one fairy house a month, but then doing three other giveaways. Um, like maybe one fairy house, one fairy door and then like uh, two other smaller projects 
um, just because I mean, it takes quite a bit uh, doing these daily videos, and I really underestimated that whenever I started making videos. So there we are. Here's a cane. And I'm just going to add these into the side, and as you roll them, they start to compress some. There we go. So you can see how that kind of, it just gives it a little bit of variation. So now I've got a fresh brick of black clay that I need to open up. I made my mom a Christmas fairy house, like the one that you did earlier and did on your giveaway. She loved it, <laughs> but moms always love the things you make. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I'm torn between making something crafty or playing Alice The Madness Returns. I have this dilemma during all of your live streams. Right on. <laughs> Can you make a fairy house that looks a bit like it is made of a tree stump or like a log home and have a glass or glass bottle inside so you can use it for pens or candles? That would be cool. Ooh! <laughs> Penny says, oh my god, Vaughn, my supernatural purse just arrived from Chad Lindbergh and he put bunny stickers all over the box, Raffle. <laughs> Because bunnies and supernatural, why not? Okay, big old brick of black clay. I don't know who Chad Lindbergh is. I am really bad with names. Uh, hey, Asma, do you have my clay knife? Can I use it? Thank you. Ooh. Right on. Is there a product similar to Gilder's Wax that would give a pearlescent effect that you can brush on lightly with a fingertip? That would be Pearlex pigments. <clears throat> like this here. They're by Jacquard. They are the best thing ever. So now, <clears throat> did you and Randy see slash like The Last Jedi? We did. We did, and we did. We did. <laughs> it was very good. Actually, we never shot a review for that for your channel, did we, Randy? Nope. Ah, never too late. We could go watch it again. Would you want to? Uh, maybe in your studio so we can watch it without pants on. Well, that would be a year from now. Oh, that's fair. Is it still in theaters? Yeah. Oh. I don't know these things. So I'm going ahead and chopping up this whole block. Now, how did I not know that? My fairy houses, I use soda and water bottles. Does Az wake up super early or something? He does wake up on, like, much earlier than we do. Oh, Aaron says my geek card got taken away. I never got the chance to see that movie. Well, real geeks understand that life happens, so. What's the name of Az's YouTube channel? Um, Azbeth's YouTube channel is Hidden Thicket. Isn't there some kind of wax stuff that makes things shiny, like Prolex powder? Um, there's rub and buff is a thing, but I like the Prolex powder because you can varnish over it. Um, whole block? Wow, lots of clay. Yeah, we're making lots of cabs because I want to show you guys. Oh, he signed it all over and even said to Penny, love Ash. Oh, that's cool, Penny. I'm so glad. So now we're coming through. And this stuff's really soft, so I try to not overwork it. <clears throat> and I just roll it out, and then I fold it, and I'm going to roll it the other way. But with these super soft clays, I basically, um, I don't want to overwork it because then it will get clogged up into my machine. 
I'm going to make a bunch of these little pads, kind of. I lust after one of those motorized uh, <laughs> polymer clay machines. Oh, I'm so clever. What'd you do, baby? I figured it out. You what? Figured it out. What'd you figure out? Check this out. As we... Okay, so got another one. <clears throat> I'm gonna grab my plastic. Are you trying to get? I get these sheets so get conditioned these and like flattened out and then I layer them in between pieces of plastic wrap to keep them clean because dog hair and me hair. <laughs> so it's totally off subject and everything but my husband's not home and I don't know what to do. I caught a rat and it's in a box and what do I do? I don't want to kill it. I can't do that. Uh, let it outside, name it and give it a home, uh, eat, it. eat it, give it to your cat, <laughs> give it to your cat, um, don't listen to me, as it says don't listen to me, yeah, I missed the very last jump, put the box outside, yeah, yeah, just think outside the box and suicide off and then go, oh, there it is, miles away or it'll return, right? Function. It'll function. A thermal, no. No. Well, if you that put would... like uh, like metal pins inside of it, <clears throat> we could take a large yeah. ring. Okay. <laughs> but it's, if there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> and that way, if you don't want to turn that one silver or. Mm -hmm. We'll hit that hurdle when we cross it. The cloak is the last thing I have to do. Oh, really? Because I have all the clothes in there. Gotcha. Looks like show a, you the goofy design of that thing. Yeah. It says he looks like a Viking costume in the making. Uh doggo, like the sleeping doggo on the carpet. Which sleeping doggo? Yeah. Sam and Z, they love laying on nice. and then Chi Chi took Asma's chair. <laughs> As is always cold. Yeah. <laughs> hey horror! That's a nice thing to walk in on. Sacrifice it to the gods. Uh we're making polymer clay today. Um, <laughs> to like legit, well. that's what's, <laughs> do what? And to ensure it bakes well, we're going to yeah. sacrifice it to the gods. Oh, mercy. <laughs> we did the new gods last time, so it's going to be old gods this time. Yeah. I'll go to the one myself. Hmm. My brain hurts from trying to figure out this dumb cloak. Oh, really? You got this. Well, yeah, now I do. Yeah. Boobs, rat sacrifice. Can I move in? <laughs> no, we're all full up. Asmith filled our, our last vacancy. I'm not sharing my attic. Right. Oh, no, that's probably the worst place Darn, in the house, says man. Becky. Cold here, four degrees outside, not including the wind chill. Gross. Ugh. <sighs> So 
now after I get a couple more, I, this will probably be my last one. See, this one's just a little too thick on the end. So I'm going to slice it down a bit more. Too much cold. That is very fair. It was freezing for a while. We had to turn it up to 75 in the house, which is like super warm. We usually just function with it like 70. But just because it was so cold outside. I just had a baby possum get in my house. We took it outside and let it go. And the next night it was back. And see, that's whenever you just name it and give it a cat box to live in. <laughs> but it's cold and you have food here. Which is unfortunate because, I mean, you're not supposed to handle or, you know, interact with wild animals because, you know, you don't want to get them comfortable around humans just to have them get, you know, abused by humans. There's also some pretty nasty laws in Missouri about keeping native pets without a permit. Right. I mean, but is it keeping them as a, as a pet if you just have a shed full of raccoons that come and go as they please? If you feed them, it is. Really? If you feed it, it's your pet. Are you my pet? I guess. <laughs> I think we established this about two weeks ago. <laughs> right. Okay. So now, <clears throat> we're going to flip the camera back around. Sorry, I don't mean to sniff in yours, but you can see how much clay that used. So I'm going to set that back over there. Ah, oh, Vegeta, I broke it to death. <clears throat> so now we have this, and this is set through at the third setting. So I'm going to feed it through this way from this direction. Uh, well, sorry, on the first setting. So I'm going to put it through on the second. So I've fed it through this way on number two. So now I'm feeding it through again this way on setting three. Eat them. We got them for you. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, she'll cut you like a fool. Sorry, I'm sneezing to death. <clears throat> I hate you so much. Oh, well, that's nice, Hank. Bye, Felicia. I love you, Hank. We love you, Hank. Why do you hate me, Hank? You <laughs> you um, so what's the question? Do you have a tutorial video for the leather thingy you're wearing? I do. It's um a leather bralette vest thing. Um, and I'm actually, I haven't uploaded the pattern yet, but January's new uh, pattern to our digital download content is for this vest pattern um and then also i'll be putting more patterns up for sale on our etsy this month too so i've layered the two pieces together um and i'm kind of making sure that there aren't any bubbles <clears throat> excuse me And so now these are the two cutter sizes. <laughs> the stringer is a little squirrely in there. Ah, it's called stacking. Oh, good lord. <laughs> Y'all with your judgment. Hey, Randy, could you do me a huge favor? Could you reheat my coffee for me? Maybe. Thank you. Okay, so now I'm coming through. And hey, Ichiban, we are. We're making warm. some little. Lukewarm. It stays warm forever. <laughs> it never stays hot. It That's stays right. hot for longer. Right. Which is fine. And so now I'm taking just a little scrap plastic bag, and I'm gonna set our little cutter on here. Oh, where'd my little lid go? I guess I'm using them all for holding stuff. Here we go. 
Excuse me. Sorry, guys. I gotta blow my nose. I'm dying of allergies. <laughs> As Randy shakes dog into the air. What? Excuse me. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious, Nina. She's, oh, my brain fart here. Was pumping up the volume on the phone so I could hear you over the TV that I'm not watching. <laughs> Still annoyed that the TV was so loud. Just figured I can turn the TV off. Oh, boy. <laughs> I added my name to the Facebook page. Have you checked it yet? Wasn't sure. Karen, um, we actually, I need to go through and delete that Facebook page. I'm not going to be using the Facebook page anymore. Um, I have figured out how to do the Dropbox. And that way, everyone's able to get it. You don't have to have a Dropbox account. You can just go to the link and download it from there. Um, whereas with Facebook, it was getting kind of complicated. And I didn't really have a way of the organization. Like, I wasn't getting it. So... Okay, so I've pressed down, and now I'm adding this one here. Not perfectly centered. You can do it however you want. There we go. And then you pull it off. Man, it did not want to cut through. This is a super strong baggie. So I doing the correct side? Yeah. put our weight behind it. There we go. <laughs> so where do we add our pictures of the things we make to show? I haven't put together that Facebook group yet. That one's going to be an open group that anybody can come into to add and share pictures. The other one was for a uh, it actually, I had it set to where no one could upload anything. That way, uh, it would just make it simpler. I was using it as a file sharing. There we go. And I love the little textures that the baggie leaves. Hey, Lee. And I'm going to have to use something other than that bag, though. It's giving me a really hard time getting out our clay centers. There we go. And now we're just coming through and training that down. Did you guys get some storms, Brissy Girl? <laughs> so and there we are. A nice little, I think I used too large of a cutter on this one, but should be okay. How does that compare to the other one? Yeah, I was using a much smaller cutter on the other ones. But, somebody will get this one. Ding! So I'll set this over my baking surface. Here it is. This is the one I was using. My sewing machine is missing a footer plate since I moved, so nothing but hand sewing for me. Oof, oh goodness. Wait, what? <laughs> Somebody's sewing machine went out? Uh, the, the sewing plate. Kind of necessary. Then we're taking, and we can turn this little guy into just a little cabochon. For those of y'all who want to do smaller pieces. There we go. So yeah, this little baggie isn't working. It's a little too stiff. So I'm going to use more plastic wrap. Hey, Chi Chi. Chi Chi. Chi Chi. Thank you, Randy. Mm -hmm. Ooh, it looks piping hot. Okay. So now a double fold over of plastic wrap does the trick pretty well. Mm-hmm. There we go. Yeah, that lets it come through much easier. And now placing the little, this part, and press. 
Yes. Do you want to see my helper today? Titi. Titi cat. I said I let her bite my cord. Right. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> oh, such a good girl. She's playful, though, is what she is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's a pretty girl. No, don't hop up here. You're all covered in fur. <laughs> and it doesn't match the clay I'm working with. There we go. Mm -hmm, she's a little Oreo kitty. She's adorable. Oops. <laughs> well, there's the fairy house I'm going to be working on. A Rorschach ink block kitty. Right on. <laughs> night night in the UK, Wendy. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> so there's that one. So also, for those of y'all who just joined us, um, these are cabochons that we'll be using for my uh, craft crates. Excuse me. Um, on Patreon. Just coming through cleaning up those lines. Thank you. For all the bless yous. <laughs> and so, and you can see I'm just setting them on this uh, old microwave tray. Like the plate from inside of a microwave. I think I might need an Alivert today, Randy. Like I'm genuinely miserable. <laughs> you want an Alivert Tuesday? And then I save all these little centers because they make really great little um, cabochons as well. And then I throw it on the ground. <laughs> so then I get to pick the dog fur out of the cabochons. All the dog fur is free with your purchase, you guys. <laughs> what? Yeah. Don't don't give the dog my allergy medicine. <laughs> well, then he'll stop being allergic. <laughs> Randy, for a great gift to Vaughn, get her a jewel tool. Way easier to sand poly clay and other things. I'm going to own one. Right on, Martha. I've never heard of that. What makes you think this is for you? I wonder if I can drink this yet. What makes you think it's for you? I want to drink it. Trash dog. <laughs> nope, too hot to drink. Ooh, burnt my tongue. Okay. Now we're moving on to the next one. And, <coughs> excuse me, I do my first phase. Like, I do my first layer of cutting in this one style, and then I move on to doing some different teardrop shapes and things. And you can see it makes such a tight little nub. <laughs> Goodness, that's pretty expensive. There we go. And this one, the marbling's super subtle. You know, so not all of them are big, gaudy. I mean, they're pretty big and gaudy, but you can make it however bigger and gaudier as you want. Excuse me. Trying to capture and make sure that I have both layers of the clay. There we go.
Ooh, I love the marbling in this one. Bless you, kitten. But yeah, see the little pattern in that one? And then we can just come through and shape down the sharp edges. And you could even take it and make it a little more elongated if you want, like that. And so now from here, I think I have all of the, I could fit one more. Yeah. One more donut bead. Just a nice dark green. Do animals ever get allergic to humans? Ooh, uh, I don't know. Hey, Sam. <laughs> nah, he's going about his business. I'll leave him be. But yeah, again, just more very subtle marbling. I think this would look great with, um, like a copper wire. Okay, so now we've done that first layer with that style of cutter so now I like to come through with oh those are quite large um here you are I really like the teardrop shapes Vaughn have you tried metal clay would you like to I have never gotten to try metal clay and I would absolutely love the opportunity to work with some metal clay that stuff is amazing but it's um quite the material investment you know, for like, in, I think a lot of the tools that I have could transfer over for like doing the texturing and stuff, but um, it's still like, I don't have a kiln, I don't have torches, I don't have any experience with stuff like that. It's kind of daunting, honestly. And so I'll come through and I'll use the little scrap sections where it's not quite big enough, well, scrap, second use. Um, to cut out just some super cute little teardrops. So there's that. Let me check my battery life. 85%. Excellent. So Tuesday I was streaming on Randy's phone using my charger. And it was down to like 19% whenever I was finished. And I was like, uh-oh. Even though I had it on charging. So now again, just feeling out where I can fit them. Smoosh. <laughs> and smoosh. There we go. Alrighty. And the reason I'm using the uh, saran wrap is it gives us a very nice rounded top edge. Sitting in the dark, watching Vaughn while eating a cheese sandwich and Pringles. <laughs> what could be better of an evening? That sounds pretty legit. <laughs> yeah, international. That's weird. This is weird. Okay, and now I'm actually going to leave a good bit of this clay on here because it will act to harden up the black. And marble it out into a more neutral tone. So I'm just going to take it, fold and smoosh. Are you making your own cabochons now, Yvonne? I am, Steph. How's it going? Um, I'm making, these are cabochons not just for my use, but for, primarily for my Patreon uh, pledgers who get the monthly craft crates. I try to fit at least three or four handmade cabochons into um, their packages, whether they're chainmail or wire wrapping. Um, because you can set these in chain mail like this. <laughs> um, or you could wire wrap them or, I mean, just all sorts of different stuff. And so just getting this kind of redistributed, uh, 
azimuth is back, Lightning. <laughs> you said, is azimuth back or is it still trunks? <laughs> he bounces his eyebrows. He's like, I don't know who I am anymore. And so now I've rolled it together with the black and fed it through. And so you can see it has even more marbling. It's another little air bubble though. I always get air bubbles in this soft clay. Ah, heater. Did it set itself down again? Nope, it's 70. Hmm. It's just cold today. And so now from here, we're gonna take this one and this is actually going to behave as the backing for this clay. Which is going to give us quite a different effect, I think. Which side do I want to use? Hardest part of my life today is picking which side of the clay to use. I like this one. There it goes. Setting it down. I think all clayers say smush, you've seen in lots of videos. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Vaughn and all. What did I miss? YouTube is slow about getting out notifications. Hey, Lori. Um, not a whole lot. We've just been making cabochons. Let me adjust the phone a bit. So I'm going to layer this back over. I try to use fresh sections. That way I'm not like a... Sometimes where I've already cut it will leave line smushes. Why? Pressing that down. Excuse me. Let me just sniffle in your ear. How did it just fall? Here. <laughs> she wants your sardines. I already gave her some. She wants more, clearly. <laughs> clearly, she wants more. <laughs> Decided to hover in front of me. Hey, Pamela. It's a nice little center bead. Pull the cat hair out of it. You can tell it's a cat hair because it's one of Chi Chi's white hairs. Um, and now we have a nice, much lighter toned malachite. I love sardines. I had smoked oysters for the first time for lunch. Surprisingly good. Right on. Yeah, I like to use the little lid because otherwise it bites into my fingers. You should have gotten your package yesterday or today. Ooh, right on. I haven't checked um, the post office box. So I'll check and, and make sure that it's arrived and then I'll be opening it on the live stream on Tuesday. So that's going to be, I'm going to start limiting my uh, mail openings to once a week. That way uh, I, we get to actually sit and hang out and craft together on Thursdays. Taking out that little center. And so these ones I really think would make perfect little, like you could wrap them or set them in chain mail and make little bracelets out of them. Just little tabs. Mail, mail. I don't know. Because it was mail today. Was it maybe from yesterday? That's a good possibility. Oh. <laughs> Aru's yelling at Z Dog. There we go. <laughs> and so now I'm going to come through and I'm going to cut out a couple just little teardrops. Okay. Oops. There we go. And these ones, I think, really look very convincingly malachite. With their banding. Hmm? It makes selfies, but want to expand and eventually do a YouTube channel, too. That'd be cool. Well, thank you, Lightning. And 
And so I'm going to do just a little bit more clay, and then I want to show you guys my progress with my cosplay, and then we'll probably be going. That way Randy and Asbeth don't have to listen to me banter all day. <laughs> okay, so I'm just folding this together. And I try to smush it pretty thoroughly. That way when I fold it again, little guinea pig squeaks, we won't get any bubbles trapped. <laughs> Getting some of that nice banding bring it together make nice dragon scale no home oh that's a good idea Jim so I'm just gonna take this over and feed it through the pasta machine just like that I have a short off-topic question when you were looking at shipping what option did you choose and why um I usually go with the most inexpensive shipping that I can get that still has tracking unless the person has paid more to get faster shipping um, and it's just because I mean with like first class you know USPS within the like internet uh, within the US um, it'll still arrive within the week so but uh, you know I don't want you all to have to pay an arm and a leg for shipping and handling Someone please answer Kristen, please. What's Kristen saying? Mm. What is a stuffy? Uh, I guess just stuff. It's a cute word for stuff, I think. Oh, crochet stuffed animals. I was completely wrong. Okay. <laughs> I guess I'm an old fart, too. Um, hey, Renek, I do not have a Twitter account. Okay, so now we're coming through. And I'm taking another back and setting this on. And I'm actually going to feed this through the pasta machine. <laughs> and so you can see that gave it some really nice wide uh, bands of stuff. So now I'm going to take my cutter, and I'm actually going to cut, oh, right here, because I want this to be two thicknesses, if I can help it, there we go, and just stacking these two pieces together, and now I'm going to do a couple more, um, cabs out of this. And I can still use this saran wrap. It hasn't quite gotten cut through all the way yet. Smoosh. And... Maybe it's like, Vaughn, stop humming that. But no, I always think of Hogwarts and Butterbeer this time of year. Or Hogsmeade, rather. Yeah, but Hogsmeade specifically. Because they never show them going to Hogsmeade during, like, nice weather. It's always when it's snowing. <laughs> you know? Asbeth in his cosplay angst. I mean, it's completely it is. It, it's one hundred percent legitimate. <laughs> he just he angsts better than anyone I've ever met. Mm -hmm. 
Who makes a CGI movie and doesn't render things the same way twice? Those guys? <laughs> Clearly. Who puts a weird boat collar on the back of a vest? Those guys? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not helpful. <laughs> I'm just trying to get to give you a harump. So, y'all, I have not even gotten into cutting the cane. I think I'll actually do a tutorial on that one. Um, but this is just, these are just the cabs made with, for lack of a better term, scrap clay. So, yeah, they're so pretty. <laughs> but I have almost a full tray, so I'm going to do this little bit of clay that we have left. And then I'm going to show you all my costume. Gotta go work. Love your work, Vaughn. See you later. Bye, Sam. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Leather's better than cloth. Ooh, Renex went to Diagon Alley when it opened. That'd have been cool. Okay, so I can fit a few more little calves both onto here and on my tray. So there's a nice big one. <clears throat> hey, Eric. I'm getting less sleepy. How are you getting sleepy? I don't know. I know. Two hours ago. I know. Don't yell at me. I'm not yelling, I'm just saying. I'm just raising my voice loudly. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> there we are. Can you dye poly clay? You can. You can use um, alcohol ink on your acrylic or on your polymer clay. You can mix in acrylic paint. <laughs> yeah, that's a possibility. My round ones are rolling around on me. But, so this is a batch, and I'm going to pop this into an, an unpreheated oven, an oven that has not been preheated, at 275 for about 30 minutes. I'm probably going to do it for like 35, maybe, um, just because for these thicker ones, I want to make sure that they get baked nicely. So I am going to pop that into the oven and then I'll be right back over here. Mm. Um, I'm going to say his robe is the robe of absurd sleeves. Yes. I'm going to pop this into the oven. I'll be right back. What's it? What clay robe are you using sleeves. today? I am using a mix of Sculpey yes. and Sculpey Primo. I'll be right back, guys. gonna have to pop this out. There we go. Vaughn, I heard somewhere that if you put the clay cold after baking so they cool fast, they turn out harder. Do you know if that is right? I don't know if that is right, but I know that it makes it seem like they're harder 
maybe just because it happens faster, but more data is required. Okay, so I'm pulling out the charger. The refrigerator is not set for 275. <laughs> That's, but I was making a beeline for the refrigerator and then um, was like, no, this is not right. Are you wearing bear claw slippers? Yep. Bear claw slippers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Quintana. I tried to put the clay in the fridge. Okay, give me just a sec. Got that sitting here in and among my sewing machines. I didn't either, but I had it drop for me. Gotta get this. What is the biggest con you went to? Um, Dragon Con. Like, hands down, that's the biggest one we go to. The biggest one on this side of the country. Yeah. Oh, show. Okay. Yeah, San Diego puts a cap on how many bad tickets they can sell. Dragon does not. So, at least as far as I'm aware. Oh, you got a little chief smoker for, wait, let me, um, little chief smoker for $10. Gonna try it when the weather gets better for outside. We shall see how that works for big stuff right on. Hey, how's the other room coming? Ah, uh, well, it's coming. <laughs> My friend is making beads, and she tried to drill the holes in them and make necklaces out. How do you have any suggestions for what to do for that? I use a, uh, a drill press. I actually have a tutorial somewhere here on YouTube for that. But I have a, uh, a drill press that I'll turn on and then press the bead up into it. That way, it just it gives me a third hand, mostly. I'm naked feet with free Roman toes, kind of cold. I got a splinter in my foot this morning, and so I try to not walk around without shoes on. Because that's what happens whenever... Um, Anastasia, I'm actually, I don't know how to make it to where other people can post links and pictures. Um, ooh, they're supposed to have one in Reno soon. Mythbusters are supposed to be there. That'd be really cool. I'm going to Dragon Con... Oh, come here, Harry. Oh, that'd be so cool, Grace. She says, I'm going to Dragon Con in 2019. I'm definitely going to recommend you as a guest. <laughs> oh, I didn't, Steph. What'd you say about air dry clay? Ah, <laughs> oh, hers keep breaking. Um, I don't know. Back down for you. There you are. Oh, and of course. I wonder why I have allergies. Rub my face in cat fur. <laughs> you get any snow yet? We got snow. It hasn't snowed here in 29 years. Holy crap. That's actually, that's not Ember. That's Haruko. She has three legs. She actually, she's quite a bit older than Ember. <laughs> if it's thick, it will crack and it does shrink some. Okay. Um. Yeah, my coffee has... Oh, I'm glad you liked it, Mikio. My coffee has cooled quite a bit. But I wanted to show you guys. This is my outfit. Yeah, that's my Capricorn so far. Now, the corset's going to be going underneath the chemise and just for, as, like, shapewear, basically. Um, <laughs> we have three cats and three dogs currently. Um, but I'm going through, and I don't know if you guys can see... Let me get this turned around, actually, and flip that. Let me mess with the camera, the tripod a bit. I've been working pretty hard, yeah. No, Hannah is interested in wire wrapping dice. Ooh, okay. I need to do a wire tutorial, actually, on how to do uh, wire wrapped dice and things like that. Okay, so you can see here, I've been going through and doing some of the hand bead work. Um, I had gone through initially and just done a layer of the pearls, but then I went through and did the bead work here on the hem of the underskirt. So what I've been doing is, what is the name of that corset? This was the long line expert waist trainer from Corset Story. And I'm pretty, I'm pretty satisfied with it. I wish that it had more boob space. It smushes my boobs up way too high. 
Like, I just wish it had bigger cups on it, but I got it mostly to be able to put on myself so I can do a duct tape body form. So this is what I'm going to be doing whenever I get off the live stream with y'all, is just sitting and watching Deep Space Nine in between batches of polymer clay, just hand stitching, hand sewing little beads on. Boop. But yeah, I think they make a really nice little effect. <laughs> Bye, Hannah. Oh, I'm glad you're liking it, Vanessa. <laughs> I'm like 100% in love with, uh, with this outfit right now. <laughs> Super excited about it. Um... So much so that it's almost trumping my dislike of video editing to be able to make the videos for you guys. And I think it's official. I'm gonna, I really want to get into tambour uh, embroidery. Because I'd like to see some of the different things that I could do with that. Ooh, would you like me to send you a bunch of seed beads to use on your costume or whatever? That'd be amazing. I feel like I can never have enough seed beads. I actually rummaged through and I'm going to be using some that Jim sent me. A lot of the bugle beads and stuff too. So that's going to be a lot of fun. But I have about like a week to get done with this outfit because I wanted to have it, you know, for my own personal scheduling. I wanted to have it nice and like done well within the Capricorn zodiac time frame and so I have until January like 20th 22nd maybe but um but still it's hoping to get done with it soon before we go out traveling again that's for certain <laughs> so I'm gonna flip this around try to get the camera back up so I wanted to take a quick moment before we go um can't get hang on dragon eyes so far started over three times yay pos someone wanted the patreon link if you type exclamation point patreon um i'm gonna be wearing it around the house and that's actually speaking of uh patreon um i'm gonna be making a calendar for 2019 all the costumes that I'm working on this year are in the Zodiac theme. So I'm going to try to set up photo shoots and all sorts of, thank you, Jim, uh, all sorts of stuff uh, to get really good, you know, pictures, the interesting pictures and different scenery and stuff of these costumes based off of each of the 12 Zodiac. Um, and then in 2019, I'm going to be shipping out to, I think, all of my patrons ten dollars and up um I we, we don't quote me on that we might be I want to figure something out it for up. yeah it might end up having to be 20 up it might have to be uh ten dollar pledgers who have had like six months seniority like to be I don't know how much shipping is going to cost I don't know how much production of the uh of the calendar is going to cost. So it's like, I have no idea, but I want to put a calendar together and I want to give my patrons first access to it for sure. Um, so that's going to be pretty exciting. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I just, I just, I wanted to do costumes. So, and that's, I, I did, I wanted to specifically thank all of y'all here on YouTube and all of my patrons, even if you're only pledging like a dollar every other month, I still appreciate it so much because y'all have enabled me to not just sit and focus and stress about making inventory or about being so afraid about whether or not I'm going to be able to get my bills paid um, and, you know, just kind of grinding out that business side of it that I'm finally for the first time in... Um, in 10 years to be able to sit down and pursue um, my art, like things that I feel like I would have never gone through and done hand beating, oops, um, like the whole underlayer of this skirt is hand beaded with like hand sewn on rhinestones and different things. I would have never been able to do this if it weren't for my patrons. So 
Uh, that's, thank you guys so much. <laughs> yeah, I do costumes too. Some guy with memes. <laughs> Yeah, and I, I do want to put together some Etsy coupons for my one, five, and ten dollar pledgers, um, like kind of like stacking, since I'm not able to mail things off to you every month. Um, and, and I don't know, we'll just, if, if you guys have ideas of how I can give you more in the Patreon packages, please let me know because I want you guys to be satisfied with what you're getting. And I feel like with our 20, 30, 40, and $50 tiers, with the craft crates, I feel like I'm able to like, yeah, you're getting your money's worth because handmade cabochons, you know, just in that of itself, I sell those for about five bucks a piece. And our $20 pledgers get three to four cabs, depending on the size, as well as wire samples and findings and different things like that. So, um... You know, as, and sometimes y'all get hand paint, painted dragon eyes, you'll get original pieces of artwork or prints or like, I mean, we do a whole menagerie of different things and I try to mix it up every month. Uh, but for our one, five and ten dollar pledgers, I'm like, uh, I don't know if I feel confident in what you guys are getting. So if you're like, hey, can we get an Etsy, like maybe for the ten dollar pledgers, we could do a 10% off coupon code or I mean, just something for you guys. So uh, if you have ideas, though, be sure to send me, content. well, in the digital content, but if you're following me as a wire wrapper, and you're like, I don't need templates, <laughs> you know, so it's, I don't know, I, I want them to feel good about it, you know, mm -hmm. just ideas. Randy's just looking at me like, you haven't talked to me about any of this, please stop announcing. So none of these things are official decisions at all, I'm just brainstorming out loud, um, to calm Randy's nerves. He's literally looking at me like. <laughs> Make like a picture tutorials in PDF or stuff like a pair of earrings or such that you can just send to the link to patrons and you don't have to pay postage. That's true. Yeah. But also, I don't know if I'd be able to keep up with that amount of work. Being able to just send you guys a coupon code is a lot easier um, than having to also um, put together, a, I don't know how to put together a PDF. So it's, again, I'm gonna have to pace it out and kind of figure out the different learning curves on things, but I wanted to thank you guys for your patience and for all of your support. Where did you get your bracelet blank for the dragon eyes? Leslie, I get those from Michaels, um, but I'm actually gonna be doing a tutorial showing you guys how to make your own. So that'll be pretty cool. But uh, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to get back to work. So thanks everybody so much for everything and have a really awesome day and happy crafting. Bye. <laughs>